Next week is spring break, at least for students in Palm Beach County. So many families out there are going to be hitting the road to set off for family vacations. And uh, we want to make sure, of course, that your little ones are safe while they're in the car. So with us this morning is Grania Kelly, a certified child passenger safety expert tech and the inventor a bubble bum booster seat. Thanks so much for being here this morning. Now, we're talking about booster seats, uh, the same as a car seat, but a little bit different. We're focusing on kids who are a little older, 4 to 11? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you say there's some common misconceptions, first off, about booster seats. Absolutely, Holly. We've, had, we've actually carried out a survey, and we understand that parents don't understand what a booster seat is for. Mm. As a matter of fact, only 13% of the parents surveyed knew what a booster seat and was for. And so it's for. to give the kids a little lift, correct? Well, it is to position the adult vehicle seat belt correctly. A child is not a small adult. Yeah. So their body is designed, it, it's proportioned differently. And what a booster seat does is it raises the child up ever so slightly, but it positions the lap belt over the strongest parts of the of body. Of their body. So in the instance that there's a wreck there, they can come out okay. It has Absolutely. to be in that right position. Absolutely. Uh, now tell me this. I know you got frustrated as a mom. Uh, you're traveling. You don't have a booster seat, even though maybe you pre-ordered one at the airport. Moms out there, you can relate to that. And so you said, you know what? I'm going to invent the bubble bum. Explain this to me. I did. I decided. I cracked up, as you said, and I, and I said, I am going to invent an inflatable version. And I rang all the crash test labs, and they said, oh, you can never have it. You can never have it. And I kept asking, why not? Treat me like a three-year-old. And they said, well, you can't have an inflatable seat because it has to be crash tested in the worst possible case scenario. Mm. So for inflatable, of course, that means deflated. So gotcha. this seat has actually been crash tested in Europe and passes all the regulations in Europe, even in the deflated state. And, and so basically it's very easy to travel. You have a case here, uh -huh. you pull it out, and then you blow it up. Where's the, we've got right there on the edge? The valve here, you blow it up, you close it again, and it literally takes a couple of puffs. And because there's memory foam in there, huh. after you've used it a few times, it wants to keep inflating itself, so the worst thing that happens in a crash is it, you, you can't actually get the air out of this thing. Gotcha. And this first. is something that you've used on your own child. Oh yeah, oh yeah. My children were my first models as well. They were on all of our packaging. It's been fabulous. Love they it. actually helped create the name. Bubble Bum. Yeah, they all said, right. we really love Bubble Gum Mum, but this could be a bubble <laughs> for your bum. And I said, well, fantastic, why it not? It sticks with you, that's for sure. Yeah. Grania, thanks so much for Thank coming you. in and bringing the Bubble Bum. John, over to you.